Today, the nation saw a side of Republican Chris Christie we hadn't seen before. The usually brash, blunt, in-your-face governor of New Jersey was humble and contrite as he tried to rescue his career and any presidential hopes from a scandal. He said he had nothing to do with a political dirty trick aimed at the Democratic mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, though he took responsibility for it and apologized. A top aide had engineered a massive traffic jam in Fort Lee as revenge against the mayor. Today, Christie called that member of his inner circle stupid and deceitful. He said she lied to him about it, and he fired her today. Asked if the traffic jam ploy reflected his style as governor, Christie said, I am who I am. I am not a bully. Yelene Quijano begins our coverage. And I come out here today to apologize to the people of New Jersey. Uh, I apologize to the people of Fort Lee, and I apologize to the members of the state legislature. Uh, I am embarrassed and humiliated by the conduct of some of the people on my team. For nearly two hours, Governor Chris Christie apologized, announcing he'd fired his deputy chief of staff, Bridget Ann Kelly, for lying about her role in lane closures that crippled traffic in Fort Lee, New Jersey last fall. I am a very sad person today. That's the emotion I feel. A person close to me betrayed me. A person who I counted on and trusted for five years betrayed me. A person who I gave a high government office to betrayed me. I probably will get angry at some point, but I got to tell you the truth. I'm sad. For four days last September, three local access lanes leading to the George Washington Bridge, which connects New York and New Jersey, were reduced to one. That caused hours-long traffic jams in the streets of Fort Lee and delayed school buses and emergency vehicles responding to 911 calls. Emails and text messages suggest it was political revenge against Fort Lee's Democratic mayor, Mark Sokolich, for not endorsing Governor Christie's re-election bid. A month before the closures, Kelly wrote an email saying, time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. Got it, replied Christie ally David Wildstein, who was then an official at the agency that controls the George Washington Bridge. I was blindsided yesterday morning. I was done with my workout yesterday morning and got a call from my communications director at about 8.50, 8.55, informing me of this story that had just broken on the Bergen Record website. That was the first time I knew about this. It's the first time I had seen any of the documents that were revealed yesterday. He repeatedly denied playing any part in the lane closures and said there was no reason for political payback against the Fort Lee mayor. Mayor Sokolich was never on my radar screen. He was never mentioned to me as somebody whose endorsement we were even pursuing. I never saw this as political retribution because I didn't think he did anything to us. The governor also said he should governor. ultimately shoulder the blame. I am responsible for what happens under my watch, the good and the bad. And when mistakes are made, then I have to own up to them and take the action that I believe is necessary in order to remediate them. Governor Christie also said he asked a longtime political ally, Bill Stepien, not to pursue a job as head of the state Republican Party because of his involvement in the scandal. Scott. Elaine Quijano on the approaches of the George Washington Bridge for us tonight. Elaine, thank you.